Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room doors. So we know that a room is a boat, right? I like to use this analogy because a boat that you place in the ocean has to have two things. One, it's got to be very strong because it's got to take those waves that are going to strike it, right? Well, we have the same thing in our room. We have pressure waves, we don't have ocean waves, but they're very similar. So, and secondly, it's gotta be strong enough to handle those pressure waves. And secondly, it can't leak. It's gotta be, you know, tight. There's no holes in it and stuff like that. So we know from past videos that a barrier is a noise structure. You know, it's the fortress, if you will, that we build to keep noise out and hopefully not create too much noise in its inside because it's a two-way valve right so barrier must be strong and not leak the barrier is also frequency and amplitude dependent that's why we have to measure the noise because the noise is going to have different frequencies and amplitude and those directly impact the structure that we actually built to stop that noise. People guess all the time at noise. I get lots of emails each week. I want to try this. I want to try that. I read about this. I read about that. And my first question is, what is the frequency and amplitude of your measured noise? Well, I didn't measure the noise. Okay, so you're guessing. So let me see if I understand this correctly. You're going to spend tens of thousands of dollars building something on a guess. And that's what it is. Then you build it and it doesn't work. What happens? Well, you have to tear it out and start over. So that's foolish. And that's why I always say guessing with noise is foolish. Because you'll guess wrong. 95%, 99% of the time. So you have to be careful here. The noise numbers will indicate the barrier density, how much weight is going to be assigned to that. And that is determined by the lower frequencies in the noise. If your noise issues are above 125 hertz in the vocal range, your barrier design is going to be completely different than someone who's dealing with a theater with lots of low frequency energy, lots of crashes and explosions. Okay, so noise numbers indicate the density. The density must be uniform and consistent through the whole room. Because remember, we're building a boat that we're going to put in the ocean. It can't leak anywhere and it can't have a weak part. Because sound is like water. It'll find the weak link and go through. And rooms that have doors, the door is the weak link. So... If we didn't have a door, you'd have a big hole, right? Where the door would be. But we have a door that's going to close. So when the door closes, it, it has to act in the same manner as the barrier does. So it has to have the same density. It has to seal so it doesn't leak, right? We don't want it leaking. And it has to be strong. And it has to match the density of the wall. So if we're looking at a door in our wall and the wall has a density of let's say 20 pounds per square foot and the door has five pounds per square foot where do you think the noise is going to go through it's going to go through this the weakest link so that's why the density of the door which is a big hole in our boat must be the same as the existing structure and it can't leak so the seal it's critical. So the density and the seal of the door is critical. Door's a hole in your barrier. And you got to make sure that when you plug it with the door, it must match the wall density. And when it's closed, it can't leak. It's got to have a good seal. We custom design doors all the time for our projects. You can go on our project page and see some of the doors that people have built using DIY processes. It's kind of interesting. So be careful here with your doors. Do another video on windows, but be careful with doors because that's a hole in your boat and it can't leak. And if you're going to patch it, 
it has to be patched with something that has the same density as the other walls. Room doors. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.